Well, thanks for joining me today, Jeremy Riggin Outdoors. I just want to go over a couple of projects I've been working on. Uh, one of them being a bow vise. Uh, when I earlier in the season, when I was doing some paper tuning, I was really looking for something to hold my bow while I was making adjustments to my rest, and I found myself just kind of fumbling trying to hold it uh, while I was doing it, and thought I really wanted to have uh, a bow vise. But in true, true Jeremy Riggin style, I'm not willing to pay the money for that, so I thought I can make my own. So I uh, thought of some ways uh, to help uh, hold my bow. Um, so I've ended up with this bow vise that's attached to my paper tuning target, which I realize um, for most people is a little overkill. Uh, but I had the materials available at work that we um, had a ton of extra on. Uh, so kind of put that all together. Uh, and I'm going to walk you through some of the steps of this bow vise. Uh, it doesn't have to be attached to this big old frame. It could be uh, you could take this piece and, and just mount it right in a, a regular old bench vise. Uh, I just want to walk you through all that. So here's what I have ended up with. I modified a little bit, but uh, basically got these two pins sticking out of this post, which will slide into here. Sorry, I'm trying to do this while holding the camera. Should have thought about that earlier. So this will slide into here, like that, and I'll have a bolt that will lock that into place so that way this whole thing can swivel and slide in and out. And then this piece, I took off the rubber boot that was on it. it used to have this little rubber boot. I kind of replaced it with this piece of plastic for now, and then this will get mounted here. So basically, I'll be able to set the bow down into here, and then use this clamp. When it's clamped down, you can... It's hard to do one-handed, sorry, without a bolt to something. So it'll be up, and you push down on the clamp, it's going to clamp down on the bow limbs. Of course, these will be fitted with rubber sleeves over them so it doesn't scratch anything up. And this, I think I'll put a piece of rubber on that. And then this whole thing I'm going to mount, you know, whether you could put this in your vise, you could mount it the way I'm going to do on my little stand, uh, but definitely something that could be done. Find the right size tubing, you know, you can go to your local hardware store, find a piece of tubing and find a tube that'll fit inside there. You know, you don't have to modify it like this. These could be bolts threaded bolts all the way through here. This could uh, bolt all the way through here. You could bolt that in. It doesn't have to be welded. I just have the ability to do it, so I'm going to make do with that. So um, kind of some other ways you could definitely make this. This, I'll try to put a link to this uh, clamp. Uh, it was one I already had from another project here, but you can buy this off of a, a company called Zorro.com. Great place to buy tools. Uh, I think you can pick that up for like $9. So Overall, uh, fairly inexpensive little thing here, uh, but should do the trick. Here's my end of result. This still slides into there. And I'm going to show you how this all works. Probably do a little paint job in it, and then I'll add it to my aero tuning stand. So here's kind of the finished product. Um, put rubber sleeves over these, um, and then this clamps down. Now I'll get to this in a little bit, but this is all mounted onto uh, my paper tuning stand that I made. Uh, you can loosen this so that we can change the position. And then I'll grab my bow here. So I can set my bow in here. I've got these little rubber boots already on there as silencers, so I have this already set up just for mine. Um, so a little bit like with those on there. Holds this bow nice and firm. The wobble you're seeing is not from the bow really, it's really from my stand. My stand's a little wobbly right now, but um, at this point you can do any adjustments that you need to do on the bow. Uh, and then we can change this if we wanted to, for some reason, say we're working on it this way. We can tighten this thing down. We could do work on here. We could do some work on the string and uh, we're good there. Loosen this up, bring it right back up. Say we we're setting up the rest or anything like that, we can uh, make sure that we're on center and stuff like that by putting an arrow in here. Works pretty well. Uh, like I said, I've also added this to my paper tuning stand, which I will uh, kind of also kind of showcase in this thing at the same time. So I've also kind of made this nice my bow vise attached to my paper tuning stand which obviously you can pull down 
throw a couple clamps on here just to hold that paper from blowing around in the breeze because I shoot outside. Uh, I've got a little tray here for markers, you know, so I can kind of circle. Uh, also have uh, this arrow tuning chart, uh, which I just got in from Average Jack Archery, which is a really cool. I'm sorry about the noise there, but. Uh, And just leave that blurred out just so Nathan can still use that thing. That is a cool little uh, chart so I can keep it right here on my paper tuning stand. Because uh, so, inevitably every time I do it, I end up just Googling it and trying to find the images so it keeps it right here on my stand. Uh, so when I need to make adjustments, I can just go straight from, um, straight from the paper and then put my bow over here and kind of do some work on it. So uh, again, this thing... Uh, you could you could take this piece here, put that right into your own uh, bench vise. You could mount it to some sort of other stand that you'd want to use. Uh, it doesn't have to be on this thing, you know. Uh, I realize this is a big bulky piece to keep around and probably overkill for what I need to do. But uh, I had the materials available at work. We had a couple skids full of this stuff left over from a project, so I was able to just kind of use it and uh, put it all together. So hopefully this kind of gives you guys some ideas of your own. Um, you know, like I said, I'll try to put a link to this particular piece right here. Like I said, this costs about, I think you can get it for as cheap as like eight or nine dollars. Um, you know, and then just go to your local hardware store. I'm sure you can find a piece of tubing and a pipe that'll fit inside there. Um, or in reality, you could make this one solid piece. I just wanted the adjustability here to be able to spin this. Uh, but I don't know that it's all that necessary. I think you can get by without having that uh, just to do some of the work. Uh, but I just had the ability to do it that way. So um, that's kind of that. So thanks for watching Jeremy Rigging Outdoors. Hopefully uh, this gives you some great ideas on how to make a bow vise of your own uh, for, for fairly cheap. Uh, just please like, subscribe, and uh, share this video with your friends.